Today's lesson is going to focus on the idea of place value. Let's do a quick review from yesterday's lesson. Yesterday, we practiced drawing and representing three-digit numbers in different ways. The first number and the first example today is 274. Just like yesterday, we start with the largest value, which is the hundreds place. We have two hundreds. We have seven tens, and since it's bigger than five, we're going to organize it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And we have four ones, 71, 72, 73, 74. Hopefully you remember this from yesterday and are able to represent numbers independently. The next example is with the number 128. Like last time, I start with the biggest numerical value, which is the hundreds, and I have 100. I have two tens, so no need to organize, but I have eight ones. So I have just represented 128. Today, we are going to use some strategies to help us identify expanded form. If you go into Chrome and go into your resources tab, you will scroll down until you find the box that says Think Central. It has blue around it and it's right under the hand with the tree, which is Khan Academy. Please click on Think Central. After you click on Think Central, you should see this screen pop up. Now, there are three different items that you can click on. For this activity, you are going to click on My Library. After you click on My Library, you will see a bunch of little squares pop up. Most of them are yellow, one is purple, and one is an orangish red color. The one that we are looking for is over here, and it is called iTools. Please click on iTools. And finally, you will see this page pop up. This is some different tools that you may use to help you with your math thinking. Sometimes we use counters, sometimes we use base 10 blocks, but today in our lesson, we are going to use the secret code cards. Please click on those cards and continue watching to show some examples of what we will do with the cards. If you have never used secret code cards, let me show you how they work. First, over on the left, the blue cards are the secret code cards. If you take a look, we have numbers in the ones place, and if you click on the card, you will see that all of the digits in the ones place pop up. Next, we have the tens, and if you click on that, all of the numbers in the tens place pop up. We also have the hundreds, and we have the thousands. For our lesson today, we will be using the hundreds, tens, and the ones. At the bottom, there are also some purple cards in order for us to show expanded form. You'll see a plus sign, a subtraction sign, equal sign. Today we're going to stick with the plus sign. Let's say that we want to build the number 47. Now, when I do expanded form, I always say the number slowly so I can hear all of the parts. 47. First, I hear 40. So I'm going to click on my card and drop it into my workspace. Then I hear seven. I'm going to drag that seven in, and I'm going to put a plus sign in the middle to show that it is expanded form. 40 plus seven equals 47. Now something that students often do is they say, oh, 47 is four and seven. But when we think about the number 47, there is a four in the tens place, but that four is worth 40, not just four. Because if I put a plus sign in the middle of those numbers, four plus seven does not give me 47, it gives me 11. 
so we need to be very careful when we use our secret code cards. If I want to delete one card, I'm going to click on the card until you see a dark blue rectangle around the outside. Then I'm going to hit the trash can to delete it. If I want to delete all of the cards on my work mat, instead of clicking on each one, I can just click the clear all button at the bottom. Let's say that the next number is 291. Now the first number that I hear is 200, then I hear 90, then I hear 1. 291. Now the nice thing about having these secret code cards on your computer is that you can move them. So when I line all of the cards up, you'll see that my total number is 291. And when I expand them, I have 200 plus 90 plus 1. What we'd like you to do to practice this expanded form is either create your own three-digit number to practice, ask a brother or sister or anybody that's at your house, or even ask mom or dad if they're not busy. If you have dice around the house, this would also be a great activity for you to roll multiple times, or you can take three different dice and roll those to get a random number. After you've practiced with the secret code cards, let's practice a few examples together. The first example is no the number 274. Now, when we look at this number, I see that it has one, two, three digits. So, my expanded form number will have three different pieces. Just like when I draw my number, I start with the biggest number first, which is the hundreds. I see that I have two hundreds. Now I'm not just going to write a two on the first line because when we use the secret code cards, we learned that it's not just worth two. If I have two hundreds blocks, it is worth two hundred. Next, I look at my tens. I have seven tens. Seven tens are worth 70. And I have four ones, which are just worth four. The next example also has three digits, so I'm going to put three different lines for my pieces. First, I look at the hundreds. I have 500, which means that on my first line, I'm going to put 500. Next, I go to the tens. This time, I only have one 10. If I have one 10 stick, it's not just worth one, it's worth 10. And last, I have six ones. So 516 is equal to 500 plus 10 plus 6. Sometimes we have problems where we have the expanded form and we need to put the pieces together. In this example, I see 137. Now I'm going to start with the hundreds over here. I have 100. Then when I look in my tens, I see I have 30, which means that I have three tens, and then I have seven ones. So 100 plus 30 plus seven equals 137. In this number, all I had to do was take the three pieces and put them together. Here's an example, but in this example, you will see they give me my total number, 273. But I am missing one of the pieces of my expanded form. Now, one strategy that I like to use is look for the pieces that I do have. The first piece that I have is my 200. When I go to my final number, there's my 200. So I know I don't need that piece. The second piece that I have are my three ones. So I see that I have those three ones. So the number that I am missing today are my seven tens. So I need to put in my 70 
to represent my seven tens. This example is very similar. As you can see, they show us the final number, but we are missing a piece to our expanded form. I always look for my hundreds first. I need to see three hundreds, and there I see it right there. I also see that I have nine ones and nine ones, so my missing piece is my one ten in the middle. So that is the number that I am missing today.